Hello, my name is Jeff. Ham call sign KW4AY. Not that that pertains to anything right here, but anyway, I uh, wanted to warn you. I do say uh a lot, so while watching this, you may want to pull out your counter. Anyway, uh, I got this. <laughs> I got this online, this little clock kit. It uh, does 24 hour time. Uh, from a little, got it from a Chinese place on Amazon. You can find them on Amazon. You can probably find them on eBay. And, uh, anyway, I did a modification. I wanted to warn you. It, uh, not a huge warning, but here is the web page. I this is where I ordered it from. It's a nice little thing. The only thing is, is that the place I ordered it from. Originally, in their main description, said it was a do-it-yourself DIY kit. And, uh, but now they they say it's a clock, and they they changed that wording. Um, let me do a back thing here because I think the original. Yeah, you see the on my order history, it actually says the original wording. Electronic clock parts digital clock kit for do-it-yourself. <clears throat> but now they've changed it to just digital clock. But they still in the description says it is kits only for professionals. Kit assembles not a very complex work, but if you are not professional, item maybe get broken. We cannot offer the warranty for incorrect welding. Uh, leave your oxyacetylene at home, please. <laughs> um, data sheet is on the title picture no it's not that's old anyway the, the website the company that sold it is called each bid and they were good about it because I had posted that it wasn't a kit uh, somebody else had posted the same thing uh, and they gave me a full refund on it which was nice of them I didn't ask for it uh, I was just happy with it because it's only five dollars and fifty four cents with free shipping from the opposite side of the planet, so I was happy. Uh, but there's two things I changed about it. Um, it. It doesn't have a battery. It has a battery place for the memory, the time memory, so if it comes unplugged, uh, it'll retain the time. My battery, I believe, is dead. Um, if you look right here, that IC is a 7805 voltage regulator and here's where you put in your wires to supply power I took both of those out the reason being with that 7805 you need to give it seem somewhere well it says 9 volts but anywhere from 7 to 12 volts is supposed to be you know how a 7805 voltage regulator works you provide it 7 to 12 volts and it gives you a constant 5 volts. Um, that chip started to get hot. So um, I decided, and I was using 9 volts. So I decided I was going to back it down and try to just use 5. But uh, it doesn't like to use 5 because it, it, for, it needs more than 5 volts in to give you 5 out. Um, so what I did is I, there's three prongs on there, the outer prongs and the center prong, and uh, the outer prongs are input and output voltage, and the center is ground, so I just took that chip, chip out and just shorted the outer pin together, or the outer sockets on the board, and... I took out that blue binding post thing, whatever you want to call it, and I just soldered in a USB wire. You know, you, I took, I cut a end off of an old USB cable that went to an old camera or something, some odd proprietary connection, and I just soldered it straight onto the board. Um, anyway, I was going to show you what, show you the results. If you see right there, 
That's just a little jumper wire with a little. Actually, that's a piece. That's a breadboard jumper. It's uh, jumping the two outer pin holes, shorten them together. So the five volts in here goes straight into that and back out and into the rest of the circuit. And uh, there's the battery I put in, but I believe it might be dead because when I unplug it and plug it back in, let's see. Well, I remembered it that time. Maybe I didn't unplug it long enough. Anyway, these um, these colon LEDs are just a little bit too bright for me. What I'm planning to do, I had, I, I'll probably do it sometime, is I'll get this resistor right here. This resistor is in line with these four LEDs. And right now it says it's a 470 ohm and uh, let's see. And I'm just gonna pull it out and probably put in a. I have a 10k ohm resistor. Might try that one. See if it makes those LEDs go a little bit dimmer. Because they're just they're just a bit brighter than the digits. I don't know if you can tell with this cheapo camera, but uh, they are a bit bright. In fact, if I could find smaller LEDs, I would prefer to use those so anyway well that's the modifications and the advice I have on it it's a great little great little clock for five dollars and something if you have an old beat-up car that you need a clock in you might be able to rig something like this up in there <laughs> anyway you don't have to subscribe to me I don't care about all that stuff um, if you have any comments questions or anything like that um, post it down below anyway I hope you had I hope you got something out of it I'd like to do a little bit better at the end of the day I'd like to have done something a little bit better than when I started <laughs> so anyway God bless and uh, 73